Yeah, I mean, nobody wants to stop and smell the roses. Everybody wants to stop and see a train wreck. <laughs> nobody wants to see the good stuff that goes on, right? We only want to see the bad stuff that goes on. And, and if that's the way we look at life, and that's the way we look at things online, the minute that we click on that thing, more of it starts to come. So the G in 5G uh, stands for generation. That's it, it's nothing too complicated or too technical. If 1G through 4G, if you think about it like a house, 1G was the, was the single story house, 2G was adding a second story, 3G was putting in a garage, 4G was the gazebo in the back. 5G bulldozed the entire house and rebuilt a new one. It is a complete reimagining of a network. It is completely new from the ground up, from below the ground all the way up. But AI as a whole is such a new field um, in the way that it is now. It's been around since, people don't know this, but it's actually been around since the 50s, since Alan Turing, really. Um, and But it just never had the ability to do what it has today. We've never had nearly as much data available as we do today. Oh, war is violence between two groups meant to destroy and kill the opposition. Cyber isn't very great at killing. And quite often, I, I make this joke about uh, the James Bond movie Skyfall, where they blew up MI6 through a cyber attack. And my just basic claim is, if you can blow up MI6 from a cyber attack, you have a plumbing problem. You don't have a cyber problem. GPT-3 and ChatGPT and these technologies are obviously they look like they pose a risk for some of us, many of us, that they may displace some of our jobs. I think just like any new technology, uh, it's gonna create change in the workplace, right? And some jobs will probably have to change or be phased out uh, by these technologies. But just like with any other technology revolution that's happened in the past, while some jobs are displaced, other jobs are created. And there's no reason to believe that it would be different uh, in this case. Uh, with ChatGPT. Digital footprint is, if you, you know, looked at all the different areas where you've gone, so if you started from the morning and clicked until the end of the day to see somewhat of your patterns, but then you pull back a little bit and looked at it from where have I been from a pattern standpoint in the last year or two years? How am I, because it'll help to see, oh, you like cars, you like animals, you like education, you work here. These are things you're, that are important to you. These are people you love. And I think you can do it with certain plugins where it can show your actual footprint and where you're being tracked. So then it's the choice of, I know where my footprint is, but I still wanna go to those sites because I need to go to those sites. So do I need to change my footprint? And if everyone's getting tracked, what can I do about it? So the challenge for innovators and creators is to be aware of this rapidly evolving ecosystem that's all around them. The analogy of skating to where the puck is going to be has never been harder, and it's never been more important.